Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. And it's Jen Jen, and today's uh, video is a whip and chat. And I have a new diamond painting. As you guys saw last week, I finished my Egyptian Queen of the Leopards, and I am working on um, an Ever Moment custom, and it is a gift. And I gotta find. I'm getting ready to put. Um, some washi tape around this because it is um, there's a lot of wax on the end and I don't really want to um, um, get my hand stuck if that means anything I'm just going to do it on this this side because the wax, the uh, not the wax, the um, double sided tape is over on the uh, side. So anyway, so this isn't. This is an Ever Moment custom, and I'll show it to you in just a second. I know I should have been pre prepared to do this before I uh, before I uh, started the video. I apologize. I'm just not. It's one of those. I'll explain in just a second. Okay. And why is that sticky there? Lord only knows. Anyway. This is what it's going to be. Those of you that watch Supernatural, this is um, the people that are in Supernatural. Dean, Sam, his dad, and his mother. And this is a family picture that they took uh, last season. And it was for the 100th episode. So this is a custom, and it's from Kaya Rose. It's a 60 by 60. So I just started on it. I started on it on um, Sunday on my live. So it's a lot of confetti so far, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Yeah. So we're just going to do a whip and chat, and we're going to talk. And I'm just going to tell you what's been going on this week. Uh, and you guys can you know, craft and do and listen while I talk. So this week has been excuse me, pretty good. I have been kind of taking it easy. I hurt my back worse than what it already was. Those of you that remember uh, are, you know, not new to the channel, I um in April did something to my back. Not sure what I did, but anyway, I was mopping my kitchen floor and I um was uh on my hands and knees. Now you would think, okay, Jennifer, you're on your hands and knees, you're gonna get hurt that way. No, it didn't I didn't hurt my knees, which kind of was kind of like, okay. Um, I ended up hurting my back somehow. And so that had been bothering me anyway as it was. And I couldn't figure out, you know, at first I couldn't figure out why. But um, I did figure out that I think I pulled a muscle at that time. But uh, I think on Saturday or Sunday, one of the two, I woke up and the right side of my back, I was in so much pain. I couldn't figure out what I did. I could barely move. I was like, okay, this isn't even funny anymore. And I... uh. I called my doctor because, you know, some of the doctor's offices here in town are not open yet due to Corona. 
and I called and they um I ended up going to your docs in which is like a you know one of those what do you call it non-emergency things and uh he uh he you know examined and I have to follow up with my doctor so you know and the, the guy at the the uh, urgent care or whatever you call it told me that you know just to put ice and heat on it so that's what I've been doing so basically ice and heat have become my two best friends you just don't know I'm telling you and I really and truthfully I sat here Sunday thinking am I gonna be able to do my live that's how bad I felt but I did my live I was like okay you know I'm not gonna let this bother me because um, you know you you guys you know really need to what you guys don't know is most of the time some of the time you know, I'm not always the happy-go-lucky person. And I know some of you can tell it when I do my videos. And I try not to let that come through when I'm talking. But it doesn't always happen. So, <laughs> but I, you know, I, I try to go through it and that's what I did Sunday I just sat here trying to ignore it and um so yeah you know yeah Sunday or yesterday and Monday I just sat in my recliner with the heating pad and the ice and um played video games with little dude because I just I just truthfully just didn't feel the greatest in the whole world. I really didn't. So it was like, okay, you know, just, and then today I woke up again and couldn't move. So I was like, you know, okay, I'll be glad when I can go to the doctor so I can solve this problem because I'd like to know why, you know, I'm, this is happening. I hope it's nothing serious. They don't seem to think it is. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's not serious, serious, and that I am because I'm going to totally, you know, freak out if it is. So, and I've been trying to not think about it. So, and they, you know, they told me to take ibuprofen, and because I do have arthritis, they said that, you know, to take the um, Tylenol arthritis, so that, um, because that's a little stronger, so that's what I've been taking, and it's, you know, it's helped. Last night, I ended, this is, this is how bad it got. I ended up taking four Tylenols, because I knew if I didn't, I wasn't going to be able to sleep. And I was fine, but this morning I woke up and I was like, holy crap, can this get any worse? So that's, you know, that was that. And of course, you know, the kids are like, mom, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to try. And, you know, and at first they didn't realize there was anything wrong because I was goofing and kidding and carrying on with all of them. And Miranda's boyfriend, John, was the one that, you know, found out first. He just looked at me and he knew. He said, you just don't look like you're, I said, no, I'm in pain, but I'm trying not to uh, show it. So they've taken it up upon themselves to do the help out with the chores and dinner because it hurts to the point that 
there are times I'm almost in tears and it's not fun. Okay. So, eh. But yes. Now, this is a lot of confetti, you guys. i telling you. <laughs> I mean, I love confetti. I mean, yes, it gets frustrating. And don't get me wrong. And I thought about doing separate trays. You know, doing different trays for each, you know, color. But I said, no, if I do that, I'm going to get even more confused than what I already am. So, I decided not to do that. And I am just going with one tray. But um, there's just a lot of the, and of course, I picked the top to start. Don't ask me why. I guess because I, you know, learn, have learned over the years to start at the top because if you don't, you know, it's, you know, if you start at the bottom, it's and move up it could possibly make your drills you know come off and so forth so I'm starting at the top and I've been trying to use multi-placer and I don't I haven't gotten in a habit and it really isn't a whole lot of places in here or at least on this section that I can use a multi-placer but I've been trying so I can get used to using them with squares because me and squares don't get along when it comes to multi-placers but and I haven't done an ever moment in like forever last ever moment I did was when I had um, when I my first big huge full coverage diamond painting and that was um, That was my first, you know, diamond painting that I, you know, splurged on. But, uh, and I've always loved every moment anyway. I just haven't bought any from them lately because of the simple fact between, you know, all this mess going on with Corona, the coronavirus, and it's just, I just, I was paranoid. But um, I might try to buy, buy another one. I haven't really, you know, sat and thought about it. So, but I did order some stuff today. So that works. I didn't order anything diamond painting. I ordered another Q-Snap, a little smaller one. And not small, small, but, you know, smaller than what I have. And, um, what else did I order? What else did I order? Oh my gosh. I just ordered, like, half an hour ago. Um, needles, stitch, cross-stitch needles. What did I order? The, um... Holy crud, people. I forgot what I ordered. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Um, now don't laugh at me because I truly don't remember. Um, hold on. I'm going to look on my phone. I, I, I can find out on my phone. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see, what did I order? Um, ordered needles, Q snap, and um, it's a chalk pencil that I can uh, use to grid cross stitch fabric with when uh, I need to. So that's, you know, that's what I did. And, uh, but, um, that's really all I did. I was going to order, uh, a, um, tablet, uh, it's whatever you call it. It's a tablet stand that has an extender arm 
and I was going to do that because my tablet right now for my cross stitch is sitting on a small table basically next to my recliner and I have to keep turning my head and it does get annoying after a while so um, that's one of the next uh, things on my list I'm going to get <clears throat> because uh, it gets um, it gets uh, annoying when I have to keep turning my head so other than that and I got my and of course you all know about my life stand why am I trying to repeat myself but it's been basically quiet around here we uh, we're just you know we had a big huge family day on Saturday where we all just sat out here and spent time on Saturday and Sunday uh, we did the same thing Sunday afternoon um, and just kind of you know sat here and that was it we just kind of and played video games with uh, little dude and um, that was basically you know what we did and uh, and like I said they kind of took pity on me because <laughs> you know that's they felt bad for me and I missed some of this one symbol and I need to go back and do it because I didn't know I missed it so so I hope everyone is doing well I hope everyone's had a great week it's um and I did it's like I of course you know now I don't even know what I was gonna say I'm gonna sit here and start rambling on um we uh I've been playing catch up on my uh book I've been reading which is home before dark and let me tell you something holy crap okay I I'm totally 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 hooked now now if I wasn't hooked before I'm totally hooked now there's something creepy going on and yeah, those of you that haven't read it you really need to read it it's home before dark by Riley Sager and let me tell you oh my I am I don't even know how else to describe it because um, it's about a family you know it goes back and forth it goes back in time to when this girl this this well she's a woman now she was uh, a child and they moved into this home in Vermont with her parents and long story to, to kind of give you some kind of idea she uh, they moved into this home their you know her, their parents bought it well there are things happening in the house and I'm not going to give too much away but it got so bad and I guess they were basically terrified they left they just picked up and they just left and so his dad her dad writes a book about the experience well she doesn't remember any of what happened well she does but she doesn't think that any of it was real let's put it that way and so it, it just it's it's creepy but it's it's good and you have to pay attention but she comes back because she's going to uh, you know remodel the house and renovate it and all that kind of junk to sell it and her dad left it to her 
and oh my gosh, I started. I picked it up the other sun Sunday night. I read some of it last night. Anyway, I read. I read some of it, and I'm not. I'm not like all the way through. I'm still uh, like twenty percent, twenty three percent through. But let me tell you something. It, that it, I've ne never heard of Riley Sager, the author, until I started watching Stitcherista, or still till you know Stitcherista was telling you know telling uh, we're talking about it on her channel, talking about him on her channel. I'm hooked. I'm going to be definitely getting some more of his books. This is just. This is just. I don't know how else to describe it, but yeah. I'm enjoying it so far. Mm, excuse me. Mm. So that's you know that's what I've been doing, and I didn't. Of course, I didn't stitch for two days, so. I kind of haven't really been, not that I, not that I lost my stitching bug, I just, I have been in so much uh, pain because of it, and it just, it hurts, it, it just, it was killing me, so I just didn't even stitch, and um, I'm going to try to today, because I feel like I'm behind on everything. I know I'm behind. That's just the point. So, and uh, got everything straightened up out here for little dude for when school starts. Uh, he's all ready for it. And we had a computer. I had a computer, a gateway. And at first, I didn't think it worked. Well, come to find out, after we set it up out here, and um, Miranda got on it, she realized that it was probably be because it was back in my room away from the Wi-Fi signal. So it's you know it works, which is good because you know he's going to need it when school starts. And um, I told him, I said, you're going to be sitting out here. And he still asks, well, what about you? Well, what? You're going to be out here with the TV on. I can turn the TV on mute and, you know, well, whatever. And he's like, okay. At first, I thought he was trying to get out of the whole, you know, he didn't want to do online, you know, virtual learning. But, um, I think he was just trying to figure out how it was going to be done with me being out here and him being on the computer because it's over this over there that way <coughs> excuse me so he's been trying to figure out that whole thing and I told him I said we'll figure it out he's like well I just don't want you to be Um, how do you put it? I just don't want to interrupt you or whatever. And I told him, I said, ha ha, you're funny. I said, mommy knows what she needs to do and you know what you need to do. So we got it covered. <clears throat> I just think he's, I think he's a little nervous because he's going into fifth grade. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. He's going to be 11 years old. Uh, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for him to be ready to go in his last year of elementary school and getting ready to go into middle school. I'm just not ready for this. <sighs> not ready at all. But, oh well. 
but that's that. <clears throat> Mind you, this is all his hair, and there's like, I don't know how many colors in his hair. I, I, I'm just, and this is extra. Look at all this extra. Oh my God. And this, that's not even half of it. There's the other half. So, yeah. We're, we're straight. I got enough if I run out. I hope. I hope. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I'm not pausing because I'm like, don't have anything to talk about. I'm trying to think about what else has been going on. Uh, uh, hmm. Good grief. It's been, I mean, it's just been quiet around here. Just really quiet. Um, oh, I've been watching this, um, uh, this, uh, show on the Investigation Channel. And it's called True Crime with... Aphrodite Jones. I think that's her last name. And I'm telling you, I was like, holy crap. They covered, she, you know, she did the Lacey Peterson store, uh, the case. She did the case about Michael Jackson. Um, what else did she do? Uh, Phil Spector. Um, I'm trying to think. There was somebody else. <sighs> there was somebody else. Casey Anthony. The girl, the woman in, um, um, Florida, who, uh, killed her daughter or drowned her daughter in the pool and uh, <coughs> excuse me <laughs> excuse me <laughs> she drowned her daughter in the pool and uh, I I was watching that that episode and I was just sitting there and I don't say I believe her, and I certainly am not saying that I, you know, don't believe her. But some of the things that um, she was saying, because they interviewed her, and there were some things that she was saying that, you know, are possible, and... But then again, you know, I don't know. I was, my whole point is, okay, why, if you didn't do this, why cover it up? Why, you know, and then, but then again, I can see, you know, but then again, my next question is, if you did this, why place the blame on your dad for, you know, all your issues. But then again, you know, you think about it. Okay. Come on. Really? I mean, seriously. But yeah, that, that was one of them. That, it was just, there was a lot of them that I'd never heard of. And I was just totally like, I was watching some of these and I was like, really? Because there were some things that, you know, some of them were kind of creepy, but, um, it was, it's a pretty good show. It's, it's on the investigation channel and I think it's also on Hulu. I, I Googled it the other day and I think you can get it on Hulu too, but, um, it's a pretty good show. 
I, uh, I'm going to try to watch it today, this afternoon, but it's a pretty good show. I was like, holy crap, because, you know, I like true crime, and I, you know, don't ask me why. I've always, you know, it's been like that for a while, but um, it's... Excuse me. It's really, you know, and it's, I mean, it tells you stuff that you didn't even know. Like with the Casey Anthony case, it tells me, it tells you what happened on that day, which you didn't know. Like it, it didn't come out in the, 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 you know, it didn't come out on the news because of course, you know, they have certain amount of time to tell the story and cover the the story, you know. So yeah, it was interesting, but I again, I don't know. It left me wide open on that one. But there's there was just there's a lot of them that I, I mean there's a lot of cases that I didn't even know. I was like holy crap. So, but yeah, it's a pretty good show. Um. Is that it? That's it for that color. Wow. I'm going through. See, this is one reason why I thought about doing the um, multiple trays, but I'm not doing that. <sighs> Believe me, I was going to do multiple trays, but I chose not to. Just because I would have been... I would have been confused. Um, and I've been trying to get little dude to wear clothes. He's all he does is wear his pajamas all day long, or uh, a pair of sleep pants. He walks around here with just a pair of sleep pants and a t-shirt. And I've been trying to get him to put clothes on. And he did the other day, and he comes out and he looks at me and says, Mom. I said, what? He says, I itch. Well, what do you mean you itch? He says, my clothes are making me itchy. And I was just like, what? Huh? How? I, what? So, yeah. His clothes are making him itch. Mm-hmm. So, I'm like, okay. Whatever. If you say so. I I don't ask because it's he he's weird. I know. I shouldn't say that. But yes, he's weird. Don't ask me. I I just looked at him and I just started laughing and I was like, okay. And he's like, what? And I was like, and I was like, well, you need to wear clothes. And he was like, I don't want to wear clothes. And I said, okay. He's like, what? And I was like, nothing. Just nothing. And uh, like this morning when I got dressed, and usually I'm the one that puts clothes on. And, uh, and I got dressed, put on my makeup, and did my normal thing. And he looks at me and he says, are you going somewhere? And I said, no. And he says, well, why are you putting makeup on? And why are you getting dressed? son, I get dressed every morning and you don't. And well, he just looks at me and he was like, okay. I'm like, I, I get my clothes on every morning. You know, it doesn't, you know, there are days, no, I don't, um, get, um, There are days that I don't, you know, like put on a, you know, nice top or whatever. And I think he thought that I was going to do uh, a floss tube video because I had put my makeup on. And I said, no. I said, I don't have, I don't have anything to like share on floss tube. Not yet anyway. And um, he's like, well, what are you getting ready to do? And I said, well, I'm getting ready to get dressed. Then I'm going to sit down, drink some coffee, smoke a cigarette. And then I'm going to 
record a video. And he was like, oh, well, why are you putting makeup on? They don't see your face. And I'm like, oh, God, here we go. They're, you know, we're going to we're going to get off technical about that. And I was like, well, and I'm going to be truthful. Anybody who's ever seen me without my makeup on, I look sick. I look like I'm dying. So I have to put makeup on. <laughs> Do I always put it on? No. But if I don't put it on, I get asked, do you feel okay? And so, yes, I have makeup on, even though I'm not going anywhere. And, of course, you know, he looks, he's just, you know, and he's always asking me questions. And it, it's like, okay, son, really? You know, and um, he, what was it, the other day? Oh, they were talking about the coronavirus on, and, you know, kids, you know, getting corona, the coronavirus and how kids are getting sick from it and so forth. And he looks at me and he says, Mom, I said, yeah. He says, am I going to have to worry about that? And I said, why? He says, well, children are getting sick with the coronavirus. And I said, I understand that. And he's like, am I going to be one of those kids? And I said, I don't know. I doubt it. I said, but, you know, you just to be on the safe side, I need you to... Um, you know, make sure that you wash your hands and so forth and don't touch your face unless, you know, and he was like, okay. And, um, he's worried. I think, I think he's a little paranoid too about it, but, um, where am I getting, why is all this fuzz coming from? Or is it dust? It's dust. I don't know why. No, that's not dust. That looks like a piece of stray. There we go. Um, so, you know, he's, he's paranoid. He's been asking me a lot of questions. And, um, what was it? I told him to Google it, Google something. He asked me a question and I told him to Google it because I didn't know the answer. And, um, of course, I don't think he did, but um, he asked me, and I don't remember what he asked me. I see this is bad when you can't remember what your own child asked you, but he did ask me, and I told him, I said, well, why don't you Google it and see what you can find, and um, he never came out and told me what he could find, but uh, that's my go-to when I can't answer him. I tell him to Google it because I don't, you know, I, how am I going to answer him with something that I don't even know the answer to? So he's, you know, um, okay, what's the next color? 938. I know, you're probably saying, why don't you use multiple trays? Uh, eh, I thought about it. I did. But, at this point, I think it's, I don't know. I might try it. If it gets, if the, you know, having to change colors every like two seconds is, you know, monotonous, then I'll try it. But, uh that's this that's what I'm you know whoopsie I didn't get pick up a drill what the heck but that's what's been going on this week um that's really all that you know it's not been a whole there's not been a whole lot going on this week guys just because I've been like I said in you know, kind of taking it easy because I was in pain and I've just been kind of, um, being a wimp. <laughs> I'm a wimp, but, um, 
being a wimp and um, trying to just, you know, feel better because uh, it's not bothering me now. That's the good thing. So that's the one good thing I'm, I'm glad about. So no. I don't have to worry about that. But that's it, guys, for me for this week. And I apologize. There's not a whole lot, you know, going on over here this week. And um, I hope everyone has a great week. And until then, I will talk to you next time.